Ang kwetso. Ang pinagpapakas ng mga tonic at ABT sa Amlaka ay nang kumabitika yun tayo Kami nak tak berjaya, tapi betul kata tang semua ini dah jumpu saksi. Hai orang jemrah som rumluk, saksi pang dah tha som saksi dal na jemlay na dal keluar ban dang ban lu ban cong cam cek cebah. Yang hoi na ko bot pisau, celong kat ri ko ban sengket dah. Cih biang na jemlay dal seman seman ri ko jemlay dal pahel. Jemlay pahel ri ko seman ni. Hai, tam kai yul kau ni bahu ni, kau menbiarkan lagi cipta tang ti. Semula mereka cakap ram lagi jumlah ini, cuba. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Nong Sa Phang. When we were looking at that last document that was addressed to respected Comrade Duan, you said that these matters, distribution of materials, were related to the office and that that's why they were sent to I'd like to show you another document that mentions Comrade Dawn and see if that may assist in elucidating further Comrade Dawn's position. Your Honours, uh, this is document D200-9.7. It's an attachment to the second record of interview. <laughs> Merci de me donner la parole, Monsieur le Président. Je suis un petit peu surpris par la méthode du, du procureur depuis tout à l'heure, à savoir que nous avons un témoin qui nous a indiqué ignorer le rôle de Doun, et le procureur fait comme si cette réponse n'existait pas, comme si le témoin n'avait pas expliqué qu'il ignorait quel était le rôle exact de Doun, et il continue de lui présenter des documents pour l'amener à faire des suppositions sur le rôle de cette personne. Vous venez, en introduisant et en ouvrant cette audience de l'après-midi, Monsieur le Président, de rappeler aux témoins qu'il était ici pour donner un témoignage sur ce qu'il savait à l'époque et ce dont il se souvient aujourd'hui. Là, je m'interroge sur la méthode du procureur qui consiste à passer outre la réponse très claire du témoin indiquant qu'il ne sait pas quelles étaient les fonctions de Doun, euh, en continuant de lui soumettre des télégrammes pour l'amener à faire des suppositions sur ce rôle. Il y aura d'autres témoins, il y en a peut-être déjà eu d'autres, qui permettront de se faire une idée euh, du rôle de ce monsieur Doun. Apparemment, euh, le témoin qui est aujourd'hui à la barre euh, n'en sait pas davantage que ce qu'il a bien voulu nous dire et je pense qu'il y a là des questions, une ligne de questions suggestive de la part de M. le procureur et je m'objecte donc à ce que ces questions continuent à lui être posées. Mr. President, if I may respond briefly, um, it is not correct to say that the witness has no knowledge whatsoever of Comrade Dawn. If I can remind the court 
it was in his OCIJ statement that the witness described Duong who an, as an individual who may have been the chairman of an office working with Nguyen Chia or Kyu San Pan. Those were the witness's words. They, one assumes, came from his knowledge. Um, he has also stated further that he understood Duong to be tasked with matters relating to the distribution of materials, and that's why this document that we were looking at before was sent to Duan. So what you have, Your Honours, is a, a base of knowledge about this individual um, that the witness has given us, and it is in my submissions entirely appropriate to explore further what the witness knows uh, and to see whether documents may refresh his memory. Now, the witness has just been reminded that he should not speculate. And with that instruction, uh, I think it is entirely appropriate to proceed. And if the witness does not have direct knowledge, if the documents do not assist him, he can simply say, I don't wish to speculate um, because I have no further personal knowledge. Um, to be attempting to block uh, my examination before the witness has been asked a question um, is entirely improper and premature. Très brièvement, Monsieur le Président, il me semble que la réponse euh, écrite du témoin lorsqu'il était interrogé par les juges d'instruction était déjà à l'époque une réponse euh, à une suggestion, c'est-à-dire que si on lit euh, cette réponse, on voit qu'à l'époque, le témoin disait bah « oui, c'était peut-être ça, peut-être ça, peut-être ça ». Alors maintenant, Monsieur le procureur veut tenter de, de faire croire euh, que c'était une réponse claire alors que ça n'était pas le cas. Il me semble que déjà en 2009, euh, c'était euh, une réponse évasive et le témoin avait été clair en disant qu'il ne savait pas. Aujourd'hui, on veut nous faire croire pour justifier une... ការយើងឲ្យចំតោះសម្ដងទេលោកចំតោះពីដងយើងយើងចង់សាក់លោកមើលដែរតើលោកគោរពវិធានដែលយើងកំណត់ដែររអត់ឃើញថាលោកម
Mr. President, um, I think in my learned friend Michael Carnivus's uh, objections is in part the answer to this issue. The witness used the name Dawn. Thank you, Mr. President. I misunderstood. I misunderstood the, the position. Um, the document that I wish to show the witness is a document he discussed with the investigators. It is D200 slash 9.7. It is a, min, uh, a minute of, the, of a meeting of the Standing Committee dated the 9th of October 1975. Uh, with your permission, I'll give the witness a hard copy. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Mr. Sopang, if you look over the page, this should be on the second page of your version, and I will give the relevant ERNs. In Khmer 00019109, in French 00292869, and in English 00183392. If you look at that page, Mr. Sopan, I want to ask you about one line in particular under number eight. We have Comrade Dawn, Chairman, Political Office of 870. Now, based on your knowledge at the time and without speculating, could you please tell us whether that position corresponds with your knowledge or understanding of Duan's role and position? But, ថាសមត្ថសមមិត្តដឿនខ្ញុំមិនដឹងខ្ញុំមិនស្គាល់ថាសមមិត្តដឿនជានរណាទេហើយការចាត់តាំង If I can move on from Duan and ask you some questions about the activities of Mr. Q. Sampan before we return to more examples of telegrams. I'm going to read this brief passage first in the interest of time and then ask you some questions about it. Your Honours, this is in the first statement, which is document D. Apologies, E3 slash 64. And the relevant ERNs are Khmer 0032-8033 in 
French zero zero four one one seven zero one to seven zero two and in English zero zero three three four zero five two Mr. Sopang, this is the passage I wish to read to you. Question, what about Q Sampan? Answer, there used to be his messages which talked about what amount of salt, rice grain, cloth, clothing, shoes, and other materials to be sent to this and that unit for distribution to the people. He was the manager who managed and distributed various produced materials to the people. I did not receive messages from Q Sampan frequently. Besides that, I used to translate Q Sampan message in the form of directive circulars regarding various national ceremonies, for example. Is that an accurate summary of your description of Mr. Q Sampan's role at the time? I want to read another brief passage um, further down on the same, uh, in the same section of your statement where you said the following. As for Q Sampan, he sent messages in handwriting through the K1 messengers, whose chairman was Sam. Sam then delivered Q Sampan messages to K1. Sometimes Q Sampan phoned me and had me take notes of his text on phone, and he told me where to send that message. That text was then to be coded, and then was transmitted. Is that also a correct summary of what you said to the investigators? បាទអញ្ចឹងមែនគឺថាខ្ញុំស្របបានទទួលសាររបស់លោកខេសុផលតាមរយៈក្រុមសំដែលជានិរសាទៅជួតមកអញ្ចឹងមែនហើយពេល
No, my phone line was connected to three places only. Included, Kusampan, Yo, and K1. Is that correct? Is that a correct summary of your statement, Mr. Sapan, that you had a phone line connection to only three places, Mr. Kusampan, Yo, and K1? Do you know why it was necessary for there to be a phone line between your office and the office of Mr. Q. Sampan? បាទព្រោះសាធុលេខធម្មតាគឺវាតែងតែរបស់គេផ្ញាក់ដៃ <coughs> ឬក្រុមការងាររបស់គាត់អាចនឹងបញ្ជាក់ខ្ញុំតាមទូរសព្ទបាននេះជាដើម្បីសម្រួលការងារឲ្យបានស្រួលបាទឲ្យបានច្
Now, uh, staying with Mr. Kyu Sampong for another couple of minutes, you discussed his responsibilities in your second statement, and I want to read that passage to you. Your Honours, this is E3 slash 67. The Khmer ERN is 00294538 French 00374935 And this is what you said according to the statement. Quote as for Kyusampan, he was in charge of the front and the government, i.e. contacting Sandok Sienuk, meeting with foreign guests who came by the state invitation, dividing other materials to the various bases and zones. Telegram was not copied to Kyusampan. My understanding is that Pol Pot might call him to meet personally. Now, I want to proceed carefully in light of the Chamber's instructions. Um, so I don't want you to speculate on this, but let me ask you first, is that a correct summary of what you said to the investigators? ហើយនឹងធ្លាប់បានទទួលការងារដែលលោកគឺសម្ព័ន្ធដែលមានការទាក់ទងមកកន្លែងខ្ញុំនេះដូចជាបញ្ហាលោកទទួលការងាររណៈសេការងាររាជធម៌ពិបាលនឹងជាជាតិសួរដើម្បីឲ្យចេញទូនាទីរបស់គាត់ខ្ញុំថាមិនច្បាស់ហើយលោកចេះតែខំរោវិធីសាស្ត្រយ៉ាងណាចុចសួរខ
the office must hand it to the responsible section immediately so they can examine and consider it and make proposals to the standing committee. Some matters are urgent. Military matters are given to the military, commerce matters to commerce, party matters to the party section. Therefore, if we move closer together, this will facilitate concentrating our workforce. When you were looking at that document, Mr. Nong Sapang, in your second statement, you indicated that it, was, that it reflected the instructions that you had um, received from Kong. Is that correct, that this was reflective generally of the way that your office was functioning? เอ่อเปรียบរបបដែលការយល័យយើងខ្ញុំត្រូវធ្វើការងារឲ្យបានទៅតាមអឺមតិរបស់អចិនត្រ័យលើកឡើងនេះគឺអញ្ចឹងម
and perhaps it can be shown on the screen also for everyone else. Um, Mr. Sapang, this is um, another telegram. Now, I acknowledge the copy is not of a very good quality, um, but I just want to see if we can look at a couple of details in it. The date towards the bottom is 21 March, and below that we, we see um, that it is authored by Chon. And then below that we have the copy two line, and we see Brother Noon, Brother Kiev, Brother Van. Office and Archive. Now we've looked at all of these individual ex individuals except for Brother Kiev. Could you tell us who Brother Kiev was? I understand. Thank you. Now, I just want to see if we can identify the, the area from which the document comes. The beginning of the telegram states, presented with respect to beloved and missed brother Paul, and then below that, as follows, according to the report of Comrade Chuk, Sector 24, on the border situation, and then it goes on to describe certain events which took place on the 13th of March, 1976. Uh, does that information help you identify where the telegram originated? But, uh, គឺសម្ដៅអឺលោកប៉ុលពោតបាទបងប៉ុលគឺប៉ុលពោត <coughs> ហើយអ្នកដែលធ្វើសាទូលេខខាងខាងក្រោមដាក់ឈ្មោះឈុនហ្នឹងគឺគឺបានដីថាខាងបូពៀដូចអឯកសារមុនដែរដែលសញ្
สภาพการโดยตามปรุงแดนเวียดนามคือกลายป้อนเกบอกโดยตัวบางขยมมันมันมีนสัตว์การตื่นนิตย์ขอโดยขยมบานจะเรียบโลกขังดามหายคือท่าคาดเกรีคาเปเรื่องตีขนมเรื่องบอดเรื่องไว้เนาะมาตามมุกพลุนเด็กขยมตัวตัวนั่นคือท่าเวทตีตู้นะว่าเตอร์ตะขมิ้นหลงจังขยมสมมันอธิบายไอ้เวงช้ายเนื้อเลือกคลำซานอีเด้พี่พลุขยมมันมันเชื่อบ้างบ่ามันมันทรบานเพื่อโดยตัวลายคนไหนบ่า Thank you Looking at the the form of the telegram and noting you didn't translate this particular one Does it appear to you consistent with Other telegrams that were being sent in at the time. So just looking at the form, not the content. Yes, I have seen it in the telegram. Yes, I have seen it in the telegram. ก็ปัจจัยจมพวกคลำซ้าเวียมันเมียนตุ่มร้องโดยคณีจังสรงโนเต้ระบายการะบอกเกรีกาหมอเอาไว้ได้เจ็ดสไลด์เกย์ดักคอมวยคอปีคอใบจังเกรีกาเจ็ดสไลด์เจ็ดสไลด์หมอมันเมียนกลุ่มร้องหรือตุ่มร้องนาแล้วตุ่มเราท้าออยรีกาหนังออยโดยโดยคณีโนเต้บาน Yang kelam sari kah, kau bi asrai nengka cek sedai nota mula tan rebok keban. Ke aje je panjah aimun junkar panjah niu bay mun panjah yutia mun. Ru awai mun kau asrai tu le ne sose satu lek nengte. Thank you. Now moving on to another telegram. This is document E3 slash 874. Another telegram. Your Honour is dated 18th of July 1976. With your leave, I will give the witness a hard copy. มนตรีรัฐบาลการตัวไลซ่าจิกระดับปีดำนางสาปริญญายกจูนสะใจปินิดขอบคุณท่านประธานดำนางสาปริญญาสมุทรนุ่งเทียนมิสเตอร์สุพังลุกอินเอ็ดดิสด็อกเมนต์สุพังเราไปได้ยินปินิดเมื่อสาตุรเลงมวยนิวินบดอง Again, it appears to start with a telegram number. Um, it is addressed to dear beloved and missed brothers. And it, in the first line, it discusses a situation as follows. The situation on July 11 at 14 o'clock 
the region's soldiers who were guarding prayer via temple took eight AKs and two B-40s with them and deserted to Thailand. It's a, it's a long document, so I'm not going to um, read all of it. Um, I want to really see whether you're able to recognize, uh, again, where the document originates. Um, so if we can if we turn to the, to the end of the document, Mr. Sapang, um, and this is at Khmer ERM 00003704. French 00623913 and English 00003706. Final point three there indicates Ravine district has fairly much rain and it is then signed with warmest revolutionary respect July 18, 1976. Hong. Are you able to identify the, the author of this document, Mr. <coughs> បាទហងហ្នឹងគឺជាគណៈតំបន់អឺអបរំខ្ញុំដំបូងតាំងពីសម្ភាសលើកទី <coughs> Thank you. I just wanted to see whether that was the same individual that you, that you described. And you have now confirmed that. Uh, for the record, this was also copied to Brother Norn, Brother Q, Brother Van, Office and Documentation. Moving on to Another document, This is E3-1023. Mr. President, I have a hard copy for the witness. With your leave, I'll, I'll hand it to him. E3-1023. Looking at this document, Mr. Sapang, it starts with telegram number 11, radio band 271. It's discussing events which took place in September 1976. And it's signed also by Chon, could be the same individual we saw earlier. The opening line says, respectfully sent to beloved and missed M870. Are you able to tell us what that designation M870 refers to. Is it the same Committee 870 or Office 870 that we were discussing earlier? ដោយលោកបានអានដោយខ្លួនលោកតលថាមន្ទីហ្នឹងគឺត្រឹមត្រូវហើយតំណាងឲ្យមន្ទីហ្នឹងអឺមន្ទី <coughs> ឬមួយក៏អង្គការ 
หรือมวยกระจุนปุ่มใบรอยเจ็ดตัวเต้คือก็ขอมีนได้ทาเออมาชมไอ้มาชมตะไลมาชมไอ้บานสดุยอันดับสแตนด์คุรักลีดัตทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกทุกท I want to look at the the content of this telegram for a brief moment. Um, and see if you're able to assist us. If you're not, uh, please tell us so. It says the following: We would like to report on the situation at the boundary of Sector 23 as follows. At 8:30 a.m. On 4 September 1976, the enemy dropped an audio recording device down at Samrong Thmay village, Tools Day Subdistrict, Chantria District. When it arrived on the earth, it produced constant white noise. At that time, the cattle guarding children picked it up. And disconnected electric wire until no more noise existed. This appears to be discussing a relatively minor event, um, at least on the face of it. Um, but my question is: Was it was it common for? Zones to be reporting um, a wide range of events, such as an audio recording device falling out of the sky and being discovered by some children. ได้เตะตรงหนึ่งปัญหาสันติสุขปัญหาสวัสดิภาพเตะตรงดอกสุขภาพกาตามปรุงแดนกุศลตะเตาทัวร์บายกาหลังเลือบาน Thank you and moving right along to another document um, and where Moving forward in time, Your Honours, um, we don't have many more, but I wish to um, show them to the witness. This is E3 slash 882, another telegram dated 4 August 1977. With your leave, I have a hard copy for the witness. Mr. Sapang, as you familiarize yourself with the document, um, I'll indicate for the record that we only have a partial translation in English um, and I think a complete translation in French. Um, so what I will do is attempt to summarize or read from a draft translation that we have in English and uh, I want to see if you can confirm whether or not um, the contents I'm reading uh, uh, correct, Mr. Sapang. So the document starts with 4 August 1977, telegram 62, band 1474, and it is entitled to respectfully presented to respected and beloved MO81. 
Are you familiar with this particular code, Mr. Sopan MO81? បាទខ្ញុំមិនធ្លប់ដែលឃើញមកពីព្រោះឃើញហាត់ដូចជាមានចំណុចលុបនៅកន្លែងលេខ 1 Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, but, Thank you. Um, for the record, I'll uh, indicate that the document is copied to Uncle, Uncle Noon, Brother Van, Brother Vaughan, Brother Q, Office and Documentation. Mr. President, if I may, for one second. I don't see the purpose in mentioning anything for the record. The gentleman indicated that he didn't know time to move on. What is the purpose other than perhaps to signal something to the witness or to try to give them some information that he didn't have? There's no reason to put it in the record. It's in the record already. Part of the file. What is the purpose? ខ្ញុំសូមគ្រប់គ្រងទៅជំទាស់របស់លោកមេធាវីម៉ៃឃើញបណ្ណវាហើយក៏សូមជំទាស់ផងដែរចំពោះការបង្ហាញបន្ថ
in paragraph B, and that appears on the first page of the document in all three languages. It states Recently, there is also news that B, the Kampuchean army, has committed mass killings of 1,000 ordinary Vietnamese people at Ha Tien in Kieng Jiang province. Do you recall from, in your experience, uh, in, in translating these telegrams, um, do you recall reading similar reports uh, in relation to the conflict with Vietnam? Vietnam. <coughs> Thank you. And just one last question on that document. Um, the author at the very end is an individual called Chien. Uh, do you know who that individual was? Thank you. Now, moving on to another category of document which you've discussed with the co-investigating judges, this is document D200-9, slash and it is, a, it is an instruction of Office 870, dated the 3rd of January, 1978. I have a hard copy for the witness. <laughs> If I can ask you to look at the, the, the heading of that document, as I indicated earlier, instruction of Office 870, subject, points of view, stands, and ways of defeating the Yuan invaders. And then the document has a number of uh, subheadings. If we can show that on the screen, um, Mr. Sapang, you can see that the document has a number of handwritten annotations in it. Um, in your second interview, when you looked at those annotations, you, you said the following. This is document E3 slash 67, Khmer ERN 00294 French ERN 00374939, and English 00483972. You said the following, I know this handwriting it was Paul Potts because he had the right to make corrections. corrections. These red letters were in Paul Potts' own handwriting. I can remember because I used to see the handwriting of Pol Pot, which were brought to me by Pon 
for translation. Or when he personally wrote short messages and sent them through Pond to me for translation. Just want to confirm that that's an accurate summary of your statement. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not going to read from the document. It speaks for itself. But I want to look at one section towards the end. And this is it. We're on document D200-9.5, Khmer ERN 00381-222, French ERN. Zero zero seven five four seven one five and English zero zero seven zero seven three eight eight. The document states note. This instruction must be distributed and learned again and again within the party committee of zones, sectors, districts, cooperatives, battlefield committees, division committees, regiments, battalions, platoons, companies, groups, and combatants, and each target commanding committee so as to exchange experience and improve the performance regularly. And then further down, the document is signed by Committee of 870. Mr. Sopang, do you recall instructions such as this one uh, being issued by Committee of 870 and directed to all zones, sectors and committees throughout the country. ជាសម្ដេចកែកំណែងទាំងទេគឺជាអត្ថបទចុងក្រោយដែលគេបានកែលំអរដូចស្រាច់ហើយបាទគុណសាក្សីគុណតំណាងសាព័ន្ធយ